Hey guys, welcome back to Two Aussie Thrifters. Today we're going to do a little bit of thrifting, just a casual little thrift. But we do have a special guest with us today. Mum is going to come along with us. <laughs> Jazzy's mum is going to come. We're going to try and find some stuff. What did you say you needed, Mum? I need a pair of leather boots because I've given mine to Jazzy. <laughs> So well, now I'm bootless. <laughs> we better find some boots along the way. We're also going to do some comments of the week along the way as well. So stick around with us. Hopefully you find something cool to sell on eBay. Let go. Some, uh... I did. They're made in Portugal. Yeah. I like them. They're not what I was looking for. I thought they belonged, but. First comment of the week goes to Cherry Tree Blossom. What about Rod and Gun? I picked up a nice poly last week, not new. What do you think of this brand? Definitely Rod and Gun is up there. We do keep an eye out for it. We don't see it as much as we see RM Williams. We do pick up jeans here and there. Jackets do well as well. Um, but yeah, definitely one to keep an eye out for. Thanks Cherry Tree Blossom for the comment. Next up we have Critty313 asking are you guys adding your purchase price into the custom label so we use the custom SKU to track our pricing and also where we are storing our items in their location in their bins definitely a good idea the buyer cannot see that so it is only for us as sellers so definitely get on to using custom SKU to help you guys out this one here is from tales from a bottle uh, item specifics I swear I get them down to zero come back the next day and there's 30 again yeah, uh, that'll definitely push you to drinking from the bottle. Uh, <laughs> item specifics are a pain in the ass. We've just noticed the last few days that another 300 and something have popped up as required soon. So we're definitely trying to pump them out. Uh, never any story on eBay, unfortunately, item specifics, but uh, we can only do what we can do. Next up, we have a comment from Scott Garvin. Great sales, love the Bam Bam and Pebbles tea. Well, I've actually got another one on today. So thanks Scotty, I really appreciate all your comments on all the videos. Next up, we have a comment from Rachel Weber who says, hey guys and super special guests. I was on the video with Brad. Do you all put up a goal number of listings every day or does it depend on what you can find at the thrifts? So we try to aim between 20 and 30 a day. Jazzy being full time usually smashes them out. But yeah, it does depend what you find, uh, which is why we do a bit of wholesale and try and pick up a lot of gear so we have a back of, of stuff there all the time. Thanks, Rachel. Last up, we have a comment from Chowron Bjork. Sorry if I've uh, butchered your name there. We are awesome find and sale. Thanks for sharing. Can you guys please upload the process on how you went about getting the jacket authenticated or certified? Would be helpful to know the process. So with the PSA, all I had to do was go online, fill out a form, print it off, uh, you have to select who you're trying to get authenticated. There's a whole bunch of different services on there. So it's definitely worth going onto the PSA website. You have to create an account. But once you've done that, it's a pretty simple process. So definitely check it out if you have anything you need to be authenticated. All right, guys, we're going to do a boot haul today. So mm -hmm. we went out, hit about three op shops. We picked up enough stuff um, to cover off on the weekend. So we'll go through what we picked up and uh, you guys let us know in the comments if you think we did well or not. What do you got? I just have a nice little Wrangler shirt got from Savers, uh, marked at 950, but we have 20% off, and I like the nice little embroidery on the back. Uh, next up, I picked up this Harry Potter book, Goblet of Fire. It's first edition. Now we're going to keep this and try and get the full set, and uh, then we'll sell it as a full set, which and usually goes. And then we'll try goes... to get another full set to sell because I'm keeping the first one. <laughs> <laughs> they usually go for over 100 bucks for a full set, so that's quite a nice little find there. Nice. Uh, ladies Catman do top, pretty standard. I picked this one up because it's a size 18. There were others that I left though. 
First time I've ever found this brand, it is a Rain Spooner. I see a lot of the guys in the, in the US pick this up. Pretty nice little piece, $6.99 with 20% off. Feels needs, like linen. Yeah, it needs a bit of a wash. It is a cotton poly blend, um, but it does feel quite thick. Thick. <laughs> uh, so I haven't done comps on this, but I am thinking that we should get around 40 to 45 on that one. Oh my gosh, that'd be lovely. Uh, you grabbed a couple of pairs of the old G-Star. Yeah, we had to pay up for these, so they were marked at 21, Ooh. but we got 20% off that, so about 16 bucks each. Should get 50 to 55 on both those pairs. Lucky, they're looking really schmick and clean. And then I am also taking a gamble on this little beauty. It's like sheepskin lined. It's United Colors of Benetton. Yeah, very nice so, colors. Let me know. It's a cute little style. Next up, a nice little Solomon, uh, just sort of windbreaker. Just picked that up for 15 minus 20%, so about $12. Usually we find the uh, shoes for Solomon, so I was pretty happy to find a nice little windbreaker. Yeah, uh, I snagged ourselves another pair of RM Williams. These are the T180s, really nice. Uh, they are also vintage, which is great. We <laughs> should turn that into about 55, 60 bucks. We always love picking up that style of RM Williams, always looking out for that on the back. Every Always dang day. look in the chino section for these because they seem to get put in there quite a lot. And hanging right on the front of the rack, I picked up a really nice little pair of nudies. They're the long john style and they were only eight bucks. So I think that's my find of the day. <laughs> uh, I picked this up just purely because it's from 2000. It is Australia versus Germany Davis Cup and it's brand new with tags, which is nice. I don't expect to get big money on this, paid $7. But I reckon even if I got sort of 35 out of that, almost, well, it is vintage now, um, but it's 2021. <laughs> so that's quite nice. Just something a little bit different. Try it out and see where, how we go. And then I usually don't pick up a lot of Target pieces, but this was a really cute style. It's the Stella McCartney collaboration and it's 100% silk. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, I think I should be able to get like 35 bucks for it. Nice. Jazzy, uh, pick this one up for me. The Star Wars... Um, <laughs> The season to be jolly, apparently. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to sell that. If we do, we'll probably <laughs> only get like 30 bucks. But I just couldn't leave that behind because it, it's too, too cool. cool. <laughs> Snap. Next up, uh, nice Harley Davidson piece. Uh, we did have to pay up for this. Now this was marked at 29.95. We Ouch. did have 20% off, so we got it for about 25 bucks. I probably wouldn't normally pay that for this, but this is a three extra large. So that's the reason I did pick this up. The larger sizes do go quite well. There's a couple little embroidery pieces on the sleeve as well, which is nice. Uh, there was another one there, but it was a bootleg. So I left the other one and grabbed this one. So definitely worth looking at Harley Davidson. I wouldn't recommend paying sort of that price for normal stuff, but three extra large, we should do okay. And then you found... Yeah, some more motorbike. Uh, Cafe Racer is what they usually call these. Um, motorbike leathers, uh, no size on them, so we're gonna have to describe and measure it really well. But they are in very good condition, no sort of scrapes on the knees or rips or anything like that. I really so, like the color. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out, something a little bit different. Last up, we love finding these. They are New Balance Minimus. They have the Vibram soles. Uh, this is only probably the second pair I've ever found. Yeah. Um, 849 and we should turn that into about 55 bucks that so, price is so good yeah very happy with that they are uh, us9 so keep an eye out for virum souls on new balance and if it says minimus pick it up because you're going to make some awesome money that one was definitely your find of the day yeah so thanks everyone for coming along we had some great time with jazzy's mum she found a pair of boots she found a pair cool. of boots <laughs> uh, leave us a comment below what you think the best item of was from today uh, otherwise, we will see you next time on Twizzy Thrifters. <laughs> Bye for now.